Welcome to another episode of Robo CNC. I'm Marcel. Today I will be squaring up the column and trimming the head itself. I'm no expert in this matter either, so if you have any tips or tricks, just leave them in the comment section below. Before we start trimming the head, we need to check the mill column. It needs to be square in both the X and the Y direction. To check the Y direction, I mount a machine square to the table like this. By placing a simple rod in the ER collet, it's easy to mount a dial indicator. This dial indicator can now write the edge of the machinist square. First, I jog the table in the Y direction until the dial indicator reads zero. Now I switch the pendant to the Z axis and move the head downwards about 150 millimeters. Basically this way we check if the column is exactly 90 degrees with the table. The dial indicator shows that I'm three hundredths of a millimeter off, which is between one and two thousandths of an inch. And for the work I do, this is not even a problem. But since this is a video, let's try to get it even closer. To get the column closer to the 90 degree angle with the table, we have to shim it. For this I use a metal foil, and since we are already very close, we use the thinnest one, which is 25 thousandths of a millimeter, or 1 thousandths of an inch. After placing the shim and tightening the column again, 
I recheck for square. And let's call it dead on. So now the column is done in the y direction, we need to reset the setup to check it in the x direction. I'm not going to show this complete process since it's basically the same as the x direction. The only difference here is that this direction does not have to be shimmed. Some gentle taps with a dead blow hammer taps it into alignment. Now comes the fun part, trimming the milling head. For this I bought myself a great gift, the Pro Tram system from Edge Technology. This is a real great tool and makes tramming an ease. The only downside I found is the fact it can only be found with Imperial dial indicators. But well, I can work with that. A link to this product can be found in the description box below. Trimming the head is also going to be needed in both the X and the Y direction. So let's start by checking the Y direction. First we need to calibrate the tool itself. This is done by placing the small magnet from the kit onto the table and jogging the head down until the first dial indicator reads zero. Now rotate the tool around and zero the second indicator by rotating the dial. This way both indicators are zeroed on the same spot. Now the magnet can be removed and the edge tram system is ready to be used by jogging the z-axis down. It's hard to see here, but the readings are within one thousandth of an inch, so I'm not going to do anything, any shimming or adjusting in this axis. To better show how this system works, I'm loosening up the head and setting the head out of square in the Y direction. Start this operation by eyeballing the head into square and loosely tightening it.
Now it's time to repeat the calibration routine. As you can see here, the head is out of trim and needs to be adjusted. This can be done by using the dead blow and the set screw on the right side of the head. Just keep adjusting till both dial indicators read the same. It seems to be that the head is in trim, so let's tighten up the bolts and do one last recheck. that's it for today if you like the video please hit the like button and if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button to follow up on all the next videos thank you all for watching and hopefully till next time